Tonight, high anxiety in a busy D.C. neighborhood. People are concerned that this scene will play out again this weekend. This popular going out spot turned into a murder scene last Friday night. Last weekend alone, there were four shootings in the U Street corridor, an area filled with late night bars and restaurants. Two people were killed. News 4's Walter Morris spoke with neighbors who are calling for action. Right in front of my house. I told them to have a police van. A cell phone camera catching the aftermath after another dangerous night in the district. Sunday morning, a man critically injured at Westminster and 9th Street Northwest, one of four separate shootings in the area last weekend. It's horrifying. Now, some neighbors near the U Street corridor are calling it a public safety emergency. We're at a point where we're asking the police to control the uncontrollable. Paul O'Neill has lived in this neighborhood since 2012, and he says he doesn't feel safe walking down his street. There are people being shot at the end of the street. There are being people who are being shot at three blocks away. And to have that type of um, incident happening right near you and you being at risk of that happening to you at any time is awful. As we head into another weekend, O'Neill and other neighbors calling on district leaders to step up. We need some solutions. We don't need more talk. Uh, we need some action. Frank Chauvin says he's been pleased with the police response, but MPD officers can't do it alone. And he thinks it will take a serious policy shift in this popular nightlife area to prevent more violence. I think limiting alcohol licenses and you're going to get a little more less crime and more public safety and uh, there has to be uh, the alcoholic beverage and regulatory and cannabis administration here in town has to take that seriously along with the mayor. The district has a nightlife task force dedicated to areas like U Street and police have stepped up patrols. You might just have to have a cop at the end of every block. But O'Neill says there's still a long way to go before he feels better. And this is what's so scary about it is that it's utterly random and it's happening at every street corner and it's really hard to protect yourself <laughs> against something so random. And we did reach out to MPD, but a rep for the department declined our interview request. However, they did confirm that they will have more officers out in the area this weekend. In Northwest, Walter Morris, News 4.